Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creator Connections Readings. My name is Jean. Yes! And this is going to be a pick a pile reading huh? to see uh, what are you birthing in your life. That was the original thing, but then when I just started the recording, it was like, what are you rebirthing in your life? So let's see, what are you birthing slash rebirthing into your experience? We have four piles to pick from as usual. For pile number one, we have these beautiful... Ooh, bell things. Um, I've had these for a while. I just, I don't know why I don't use them, but they're out now again. For pile number two, we have these beautiful, this beautiful white quartz. It's almost like iridescent in some parts. Look at that. That is like the memory stick of like the simulation. <laughs> for pile number three. We have this cool car. Like the gangs, I don't know why that came up. And then for pile number eight, we have this little man that can never fall. Uh, pile number eight? What the fuck? Pile number four, Jesus. <laughs> pile number eight? Um, ooh, eight though. Pile number uh, four, this little man that can never fall over. Okay, look at that. Look how cute is that. Ooh, interesting. Uh, for your reading. That is the four piles. Pick your piles once again. See what are you birthing slash rebirthing in your life. And I will see you there. Satnam, pile number one. For those of you who picked, okay, this beautiful bell. This is going to be a reading to see... Uh, what is birthing, rebirthing into your life? So I am already getting some kind of like gangster, bad bitch, bad boy kind of vibe. Like kind of like taking off shit kind of energy or something like that. Um, but I feel like you're going to be doing it in, from a much clearer space though, okay? But let's see what the cards actually the cards actually have to say. Ace of Pentacles! Um, I'm hearing money, 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 money. Um, I feel like you are, you're definitely birthing something, okay? Like, you're definitely the sage. This might be something that you might have been actually, um, like, reminiscing on, or two, three, four, like, thinking about, and, like, planning ethereally, and, like, um, setting, like, spiritual goals on, or something like that, even, okay? I feel like that is, you're finally going to be bringing something into the physical. Um, I'm even hearing for some of you, this is some kind of way of life. Uh, the sage is giving me a lot of druid vibes, okay? Um, maybe for some of you, you're about to, um, ex like, 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 start manifesting some kind of certain um like way of life maybe I, I yeah i feel like for some of you you're gonna start living as druids or some shit or um if you're a woman a witch obviously or something like that like something very connected with nature or something um if it's not that uh you're just about to utilize some kind of um knowledge that you have um in a very very i'm hearing interesting way and a very healing way as well Pile number one, okay? That's going to bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of opportunity and a lot of success, okay? Uh, but there is also, I do need to say, some kind of energy trying to, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm hearing to say, uh, create conflict before this thing can sprout or create conflict before this thing can create um, something for you. But don't worry, uh, you have God on your side, right? Or at least I'm hearing to say, I'm hearing God say something like, no, 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 you have, you, you have yourself on your side okay or at least you have somebody either way there's somebody or something that has um, bad intentions but there, there's also somebody or something that has good intentions which i feel like is kind of like a cop-out like yeah john that's life anyway, <laughs> Ooh, wow anyway um i feel like you can expect some kind of money some kind of business opportunity some kind of um a flourishing in your stability in your finances um in your health even as well okay The Empress Reverse, interesting. Two of Swords wanted to show itself. And the Fool Reverse. Mm, so this is definitely, ooh, this is, ooh, and Death Reverse. This is definitely a rebirth happening. 
Um, I feel like I feel like maybe you went some uh, through some kind of death um, of your stability, of your finances, of your roots, of your uh, like maybe your business flopped a little bit for some of you. I'm even feeling um, because of maybe again like some kind of spiritual attack or something. Who uh, I'm hearing take responsibility, uh, but I feel like you are taking responsibility. Yeah, shield made and make plans and focus. I feel like you're doing that. Druid, the druid card came out. Mountain, stand your ground. That's what you're doing. And the summer, Basque and Joy Light. Yes. Uh, poll number one. You are definitely rebirthing something, okay? Uh, if you are this empress in reverse or something, you are rebirthing a, a, a new beginning that I'm hearing should have been even, okay? Uh, I feel like... I feel like you are rebirthing some kind of, maybe even an old project for some of you. I feel like whatever this is, this is something that probably didn't work out or it's something that kind of flopped or it's something that, um, I don't know, just didn't get off the ground or something. But I feel like that is what you're birthing. You're finally birthing that into this, into this newness again. Okay. So this is definitely a rebirth for you. Not just, not something brand new. This is a rebirth for you. Okay. I'm being told for some of you to not be too focused on the physical as well, okay? Because for some reason, I feel like you being too focused on the physical is going to kind of... Um I don't know, it's going to create some kind of like, like, like heavy or, or, or like knotted energy. Um, so really just let it flow. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm even, and, and I'm also being told for some of you, don't be too foolish with this, with this new beginning, with this new birth, with this rebirth. Okay. Don't be like too foolish about it. Right. Like with this full in reverse, like keep yourself a little bit in check or something. Uh, but I, I feel like, I feel like you've learned some kind of lesson. Okay. I feel like, um, and I feel like that lesson also created some kind of sage, like druid kind of energy within you or allow it to start expressing itself more maybe um that is going to allow you to once again grow and once again re be reborn okay to be this empress which i'm going to put in the upper right for you as pile number one okay we become the empress once more or something like that right <clears throat> so let's see uh one oracle card Broken arrow, enjoy the energy of peace, trade there, exchange energy to create abundance. So, and Jesus, learn from spiritual experiences. So definitely you, you had to learn a lot through some kind of trial and error thing, maybe, or you had to learn a lot through some kind of death you know, death rebirth thing maybe. Um, but I feel like, I feel like again, like, I feel like if you are still also in this upside down empress reversal thing that you're not anymore because you're upright now. Um, I feel like you need to forgive. You need to embrace the energy of peace and forgive and simply let the energy flow like trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Even if it's shitty energy, use it as manure, okay? Um, like I feel like that is what's going to create this empress and this fool in the upright for you. We're putting it all in the upright, right? Because we can. Um, so in, in, embrace the energy of peace, okay? Uh, this rebirth, this rebirthing that, that is going to be happening for you by your own merit, I kind of want to say, uh, by your, again, your own willingness to forgive, to embrace peace, to let energy just flow through you, etc., etc., um, will is what is going to be creating this abundance, okay? Because again, trader, exchange energy to create abundance with especially this air guardian as well, uh, shift your perception i'm feeling like lady so the empress twice, twice and summer i'm feeling like i'm also feeling for some of you you need to take more time to reflect because you keep feeling either alone or you keep forgetting maybe that you are an empress okay uh maybe that's a part of your your foolishness uh Palmer, and quite honestly i need to say is that you keep forgetting who the fuck you are or something like that okay thank you so much Palmer, one that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing forgive and forget and you are moving on to a rebirthing of your empressness okay i will see you again for another one so bye Satnam pile number two for those of you who picked this cool memory card thing. I really like this crystal. I really fucking like it. This is going to be a reading to see what are you transmuting. What are you birthing slash rebirthing into your life? Something flipped thought card. Yes, a lot of transmutation happening. You are uh, emotion intellect. You're doing a lot of magic in the very near future. I feel to say actually pile number two. 
I feel like you're about to be manifesting a whole lot of, um, I feel like you're, you're, you know, it's birthing, it's what called transmutation with that cauldron and fire. I feel like you're, you're birthing like a, 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 wait, oh, I just had it. Just bear with me, palm number two. You're birthing some kind of like beautiful um, agreement between your your logical side and your emotional spiritual side. Okay, I feel like this is going to allow you some kind of liminal experience on a consistent basis or on a much easier basis. Meaning your manifestations are going to be ramping up. Uh, it's going to be coming faster. You're going to be receiving much more um, energetic, um, like influx, a lot more energetic um, stimulus, I feel. Or you're going to be much more aware of it, I feel. Okay. <laughs> I, I looked a little crazy. I looked a little crazy there. Um, yes, I feel like that is what's going to be happening for you. Okay. For some of you, you might even be receiving like downloads of um, ancestral, specifically ancestral um, rituals or ancestral knowledge or ancestral healing songs for some of you is what I'm hearing. That's fucking beautiful uh, with that emotion intellect. Ooh, lovely. I feel like somebody, 1111, I feel like somebody watching now uh, recently connected with some kind of um, ancestral expression or something and they're like oh my god so yes okay that's beautiful i can feel the energy i can feel the energy it's beautiful so let's see what else is birthing rebirthing so i guess this can also this might feel very new to you paul number two uh but it's a rebirthing actually because it's very much part i feel like of your lineage of your um like like maybe shaman witch witch doctor uh herbalist kind of lineage okay The star reverse. Seven of wands reverse. And the six of swords reverse. <clears throat> so yes. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> you know that like in, 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 um like Doctor Strange, the mirror dimension, that's the energy the Six of Swords in reverse is giving me. I feel like, you know, for some of you, it's almost like you're going to be able to, to much easier, like you... <sighs> If you've been on this journey of learning how to be liminal or learning how to be in both worlds at once, I feel like there's some kind of culmination coming, okay? There's some kind of culmination of you, like, literally being able to do that, one, two, three, four, coming, okay? Um, I feel like you you are becoming, it's almost like energetically you're becoming much lighter, you're vibrating much higher or something, or much faster, like, because it almost feels like, it almost feels like you are a little bit like see-through or something like that, okay? I felt somebody was like, no, <laughs> yes, lady, that's not your reading then, okay? <laughs> uh, because I feel like, I, for some of you, you might be again, like, like also experiencing some kind of masterful energy of teleportation, but but for the most part, I feel like this is much more conscious for now, okay? And again, like, this is happening, this is birthing, this ancestral magic or this ancestral knowledge is birthing because um, I think there's a need for you to um, not only, like, not run away or not move away or not go away, but also to not stand your ground or not, not fight by not moving away or not running away. Does that make sense? Like, not needing to defend yourself consistently, but also not needing to be, like, ostracized or something like that I f for some of you i feel like even your your like ancestral lineage um is 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 trying to like stick up for you or something like that that might also be something that's going to be happening for you okay uh quite honestly i feel like with the star reverse the full reverse and death for some of you i feel like your ancestral lineage or your like your dna doesn't take shit is what i'm hearing specifically okay your dna is not somebody to ace of pentacles reverse something to be messed with okay um so i don't know why that's coming up that's just like maybe that's also just something you're going to be um coming into contact with maybe you're going to be uh, greeted by some kind of very dark ancestor or something and they're going to maybe teach you or give you some kind of song for some of you uh that's going to be very healing for a, a lot of dense things okay 
Um, anyway, I feel like you're going to be coming much more into contact with, for some of you, mediumship, like shit like that, like ghost spirits and stuff like that. Um, and I feel like for some of you, these beings are going to start becoming even your friends or something like that, okay? For some of you, they already are. Uh, but I feel a very profound uptick in your, in your, in your, I want to, I don't necessarily want to say magic. I want to say your spiritual awareness, your psychic awareness, your, but also not psychic awareness per se. It's more like, um, I don't know, like this feels like your spiritual awareness. It's like not, not necessarily magic, but it's like knowing logically how you doing something has some kind of magical effect. It's that vibe, right? Uh, you're, you're finally coming to some kind of culmination and embodiment of that. Okay. Uh, let's see what this, what this, uh, Oracle deck has to say. Trust your instincts. Yeah. Uh, this is requiring, uh, you to like, really, I feel, uh, because again, like, for, like, as this culmination even happens, you might think you have a lot of experience with liminal spaces, but I feel like it can get wild is what I'm hearing. It can get wild, sunny, is what I'm hearing. I don't know why, but that's what I heard, okay? So I, I feel like this is going to require you to like, um, also like really not only trust your instincts, but I feel like it's also honing your spiritual instincts, okay? Five, five, five. I feel like you're, you're sharpening your ability to jump in and out of, of, um, other spaces without even moving or without needing to go somewhere or something like that. Uh, for some of you, this might even start off as astral projection. For some of you, this is culminating into some kind of intense, like, I keep getting a lot of teleportation um, by my pick collect, by my pick a card uh, piles. Maybe some of you, somebody here is some kind of like proper. Anyway, that was your reading, pile number two. Thank you so much. Please do consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you again for another one. Set number eight. Satnam Paul numero tres, number three, for those of you who picked this 8 8 vehicle. This is going to be a reading to see what are you manifesting, what are you birthing, rebirthing into your life. Maybe you're manifesting a vehicle. Maybe you're birthing some kind of travel, some kind of movement, some kind of. Why I'm always looking for a ride or die, because mine's the only heart I'm going to have for life. After all the times I wonder, fucked it up. I wonder when I love me if we know. Thoughts, emotion, intellect. So yeah, I feel like you have your sight set on something, part number three. Uh, something or someone. Maybe for some of you. I'm hearing for some of you even want to hurt somebody. I hope not. Um, part number three. Uh, there's definitely some kind of very fast, very fucking focused, like, woo energy that is awaiting uh, you, okay? Um, that you are birthing. Some very, some kind of very focused... Um, Quick fucking speeding. I feel, I don't know how else. Like I feel like kind of like, uh, 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 with this energy. Okay, um, that might even be somebody being shot. Like, uh, 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 but like energetically. What am I feeling here? I feel like you're manifesting something at extremely rapid speed. Okay, and you might not even be realizing this because you're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Something like that. anyway, something like that. Don't overdo it, John. Is what I'm hearing. Anyway, I feel a little bit self-conscious all of a sudden, like I did too much there. Anyway, uh, pile number three, what's, give me more info, because this, this energy is like very like, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, like, ah, oh. yes, we get it. Give me the juicy things, bruv. <laughs> what a nice evening today, tonight, actually. Ah, lovely. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Ooh. So maybe some kind of very sudden manifestation of wealth. Ooh, and the Five of Wands reverse. You know what I'm getting? Ooh, you know what I'm getting as well. If like a sudden, a sudden, oh, and the six of cups reversed. You know what I'm getting? And the seven of wands defensiveness. Mmm, king of pentacles reverse. Nine of wands. What the fuck? Five of swords, the chariot. You know what I feel like? Pile number three. You are manifesting some kind of very quick, um, birthing or rebirthing some kind of very quick loss quite honestly 
Uh, but I feel like this is for someone. I feel like you're in some kind of Queen of Pentacles energy and there might be something somewhere, something or someone, High Priest, Intend and Create. Okay, Jean. <laughs> some kind of something or someone that's in some kind of other competition with you or just, uh, I'm even hearing a negative Nancy, okay? Um, but I feel like you're either, you're either isolating yourself from this, from this competition petition this drama or you're you're snuffing it out okay much faster than you think okay like literally just saying like i don't have time for this i don't have like no like near no. Okay, something like that. But like, I feel like you're still in a very nurturing way. I feel like you're manifesting uh, some kind of money, though, as well. Some kind of stability, finances, some kind of status and career, maybe even. Um, if you, if there was some kind of competition, maybe even with your career or something, um, maybe somebody trying to compete with you, I feel like it's it's a no for them. It's a no for the competition, right? So just keep standing in your in your Queen of Pentacles energy, you know. Just keep. I also want to say keep being nurturing. I feel like you, you like like remember to also nurture yourself. But I feel like I feel like I feel like this is coming in very fast. Okay. <sighs> much 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 faster than you think. Like this is some kind of something something that is like. Um, it might even be just like obstacles in general that's like like being like eliminated and like two triple one in front of you as you like like walk okay like obstacles are eliminated in front of you Ooh. maybe even like having a bodyguard or something like like every time somebody's like oh hey they're like Pachow. but if it's a bad hey i just saw one two three as well so And I keep hearing finances. So like a lot of finances coming your way. Trust in higher forces and great teacher. Jesus, learn from spiritual experiences. I feel like you've felt this energy before. Or if you, you have manifested um, something similar before. Hence again, also why are rebirthing? Um, if this is something, like I'm hearing a note as well. If this, if this is something completely new. I feel like this learn from spiritual experiences is actually telling you, like, like Jesus is the one that's able to die and be reborn, the dying, rebo being reborn God, right? I feel like, what am, what am I feeling here? <clears throat> learn from spiritual experiences. I feel like this... As as this thing comes in so quickly, two 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 two. As this thing, this 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 like balance, yes, this balance stability comes in so quickly. This like um, being being the queen of pentacles again. Like whether this be the first time or you be rebirthing this again for yourself. Uh, whether this is the first time you've been in competition or whatever, I'm being told to tell you to keep it graceful. Okay, keep it beautiful, graceful, and humble because that is why you are standing up above the rest. It's because of your grace. Okay, because of your humility, maybe even keep it humble uh, because that would make it even. I feel like I feel like 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 I feel like the humility and the 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 the, the, the gracefulness is even what makes the arrow so like fucking. Whoosh, uh, true. Okay. Thank you so much, Palmer Three. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another one. Satnam Bye. Satnam Pal Number Four. For those of you who picked this man that can't fall down, um, I got some kind of deterrence or uh something like that. You're birthing some kind of maybe new ability of like. This is going to be a reading to see what are you birthing, rebirthing. Maybe you're birthing some kind of ability of always standing up or something like that. Two, triple, three, okay? Um, or just being unable to be knocked down. Like, now you're not even going to have to be standing up. You're just not going to be able to be knocked down. That's pretty cool. Ace of Cups. Yeah, the scribe. You know what I'm getting? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. You might be manifesting love as well. And money and like, you know what? This this Ace of Cups is giving me a lot of like constant healing. Like um, constant immediate healing is actually what I'm feeling, okay? Um, like again, like you won't be able to be, like you won't have to get up because you won't even be able to be knocked down, okay? Every time something happens, like you just like, it's constant healing. Like Wolverine almost, constant healing and you get up, 
Okay. Uh, so I feel like that's pretty good. I do need to say the scribe. This is also some kind of divine love. I feel like maybe, maybe this is because of some kind of like, maybe this is some kind of superpower or something or a gift. But I feel like this gift slash superpower is kind of like Reiki energy almost. Like it just flows through and it like heals you immediately. It like keeps you upright. It like something like that. Okay. But I also do feel like you are manifesting some kind of divine love because the king and the queen of cups showed it itself okay so definitely there's some kind of partnership some kind of um love so let's see what else you need to know pile number quattro oh there it is i was like where did i put the thing King of Cups again, lots of love, and the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, so you're about to be not single much longer, pound number five. If you are, if you are in some kind of like weird uh, situation with your partner, that like if you are not um, single, um, may, and maybe your, your relationship has taken a lot of like, doof, 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 like it's gonna, it's gonna become much, much, much better, okay? So let's see, what do the rest have to say? <gasps> You are manifesting love. You are birthing love. What else is here for pa? Ooh, um, it's two. I actually just want one, but okay. Ooh, ooh, you know what you're manifesting? You're birthing some kind of love. Um, the lovers, two of wands and five of wands. You are manifesting somebody. I feel like, quite honestly. Um, like, okay, if, if you take this just as on yourself first, you're manifesting, choosing yourself consistently away from the drama, always putting yourself first and never being able to be put down, okay? On the other hand, the lovers, um, you are manifesting some kind of divine love, okay? Somebody is choosing you or somebody's soul is choosing your soul, your soul is choosing their soul or something like that, okay? This feels very beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I feel drunk on love, quite honestly. Ooh, I feel high on love right now. I feel lovely. Okay, I know. Let me not get too intense. Um, I feel like this love comes with some kind of a catch, though. And I feel like this catch is some kind of drama. Um, five of Wands and the Five of Swords. I feel like there's some kind of... Ooh, High Priestess, the star. There's some kind of drama attached to this love. I don't know what exactly. I feel like you know what it is. Um, but I feel like this drama is very like, meh. um, I feel like either you or this person, because the cards came out like this, like literally like this, it's almost like, yeah, the five of ones is there, but like, it, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, yes, it does. Okay. Like if you're not in the mood for shit like that. Um, but it might even be, it might even be the healing of this, 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 um, I'm hearing loveless. It might even be the healing of this, um, drama in this either relationship or, um, this love that was going to have this petty drama. It might even be the, the immediate healing of that, that you're, that, that you're birthing. Okay. I don't know why, but I felt like there was a lot of drama attached to some kind of love situation. It's like, ooh, spill the tea, sis. Like, that's the kind of energy I got, okay? Uh, but again, maybe it's like that's the energy that's actually healing as well. That's what's being birthed, the healing of that energy, right? But yeah, definitely you're manifesting some kind of partnership, some kind of king and queen of cups. Um, I'm even hearing king and queen of cups initiation. Whoa, what the fuck? Interesting. The sun, look at you. Pile number quattro. Uh, you're definitely about to be very fucking happy. You're birthing or rebirthing some kind of love. And like, quite honestly, I'm being told to tell them this is not just self-love. This is love in every regard. Love of self, love of the neighbor, love of God, um, love of a partner, love of friendship, love of your job. Like, just like really... This is the, like, the whole, this is the sun. Um, enjoy success and happiness. Like, you're about to be very happy and very healed. And again, um, either way, whether you're single or not, if you're single, you're about to meet somebody or you're about to be in some kind of partnership or you're about to be um, <clears throat> chosen or something like that or choose somebody, okay? Uh, if you are in a partnership, the bullshit is ending. The, 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 the drama is ending. You don't have to worry about the icky bicky do -ba -do, -ba do anymore, okay? Because um, instant, instant healing, instant uprightness, no longer being able to fall down, no longer being able to be um, 
done in even is what I'm hearing. A lot of healing, guys. The Ace of Cups and the Sun. Yes, file number four. I'm very happy for you. Thank you so much. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing. If you like my vibe, if I ain't too intense, if I is bad. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Satnam, bye.